So to put uh, this study, uh, the Javelin one hour study in, in, in perspective, um, as I have, has already been mentioned, kidney cancer was a very complicated disease to treat. Uh, most patients develop uh, uh, metastatic disease, um, and a disease that um, before 2005 only uh, could be treated with interferon or, in, or uh, hydrose interleukin-2, both highly toxic treatments, um, and none of these uh, treatments really uh, had an uh, impact on overall survival. So in, as of 2005, 2006, uh, TKIs, tyrosine kinase inhibitors, targeting VEGF receptors uh, became, uh, uh, became available, and that really changed the landscape for patients with uh, metastatic kidney cancer. The disease is highly vascularized, so it made sense to, to target uh, uh, VEGF or VEGF receptors. So that's been done, and, and we, see, we, we saw that, that uh, patients uh, really uh, uh, benefited from that uh, enormously. But you have to realize that these TKIs are not curative uh, uh, treatments. Now, knowing that kidney cancer was already sensitive to immunotherapy, um, the development of the checkpoint uh, molecules already led to the idea that perhaps also kidney cancer could be uh, sensitive to, to checkpoint inhibition. Now, the first study that was being done in second line was a study with nivolumab, a uh, phase three trial comparing nivolumab to everolimus. That study showed that uh, uh, nivolumab, an anti uh, uh, PD-1 antibody really re led to an improved survival in these uh, patients and became approved in, uh, in the United States and also in Europe. Last year at ESMO, uh, the was, uh, data were presented of the combination of epilimumab, an anti-CTLA-4 antibody, and nivolumab, an anti-PD-1 antibody, compared to the standard of care uh, as first-line treatment, sunitinib, which is also, the, standard, which is also the, co the control arm in this study, and showing that the combination of epilimumab plus nivolumab had a better uh, 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 survival in these patients, again making a step uh, forward for this patient population. Now, Based on preclinical data, it made sense to combine angiogenesis inhibitors and uh, uh, immunotherapy because we know that, that, that the angiogenesis, uh, 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 so the VEGF uh, especially, uh, impacts on the way the immune system can respond uh, uh, to, the, uh, to the kidney cancer. And by taking away some of these negative effects of these uh, VEGF by using an anti-VEGF uh, uh, drug, um, the immunotherapy may work better. Pre-clinical show that, but we also have clinical uh, data uh, showing that you really get more T cells, more lymphocytes uh, into the tumors, and because of that, probably uh, these tumors uh, respond better to the combination of these drugs. Now, phase one studies had already been uh, uh, started uh, of the combination of a TKI and a uh, uh, um, uh, anti-PD-1 or anti-PD-L1 antibody. And these data were very promising, um, uh, showing very high response rate, over 50, 60, 70 percent. And uh, it made sense, of course, to now uh, test this combination in uh, a phase three trial, comparing it to the standard of care sunitinib. That has been done. This is the first study of a TKI, uh, plus uh, uh, an anti-PD-L1 drug, uh, showing an um, uh, improved uh, progression-free survival in uh, this patient population. Two days ago, a press release came out from uh, Merck, MSD, uh, who had been doing another study uh, comparing uh, sunitinib to the combination of axitinib, the same drug is, is being used in the Javelin 101, plus uh, uh, pembrolizumab, another anti-PD-1 antibody. Also, this uh, combination appears to be uh, uh, positive in terms of PFS and uh, OS uh, uh, data. So it doesn't stand alone, and we think it's a real paradigm shift that we are now seeing in the treatment of patients with uh, metastatic renal cell cancer. And of course, that what we do not know is patients that fail this treatment, how do we need to, to treat those? Because they already had the TKI and then the immunotherapy, what will be the next uh, uh, possibility? So there are still a lot of questions that we need to answer, but I think for patients with this disease, this in itself is a, is a, a real step forward. And we think that if you, uh, use the best option, treatment option, with the best outcome in the beginning, hopefully this will uh, also translate in the best survival of these patients. But for that, we still have to wait. The date of the Javelin 101 study are still not completely matured for OS.